West Elementary is now robotic. They love, as you hear and see behind me, there's a lot going on. Um, a lot of parent support goes along with this too. Um, they just exhaust every opportunity to get their hands on these robots. And these fourth and fifth grade sensational STEM students are making some noise. Go, go. Hey, clear the chicken. Okay, clear the chicken. That's good. <laughs> this is scary. No! With the robotics program at West still in its infancy stages, well, over the summer, their work was award winning at the Wilson County Tennessee State Fair. And then later on, at a recent school board meeting, well, they put on quite a show. You guys would like to really quick uh, introduce yourself? It was very entertaining, intriguing, and had us wanting to learn much more. Meet Jennifer Crockett, the West Elementary STEM teacher who spearheaded the program, is enjoying every piece of this while students piece their robots together. What exactly is going on in here? Uh, they are learning to uh, program and build their, their very own robots. They're planning and solving their own missions. Coding, programming, robotic building, all of these valuable skills being incorporated at a young age with the hope that it will have these students wanting to explore even more in middle and high school. Oh, this is this is direction that they all need to be going. I mean, robots, robotics, pro computer programming, it's the future. It's better to get a taste of it now yeah. while they're younger. Have you had to evolve with this over the years to learn more about how these work and everything? How, how has that been for you? I had no idea <laughs> until I got my first set of Dash robots about four years ago. So I had to learn block coding myself before I could teach it to them. These yeah. guys that now have had at least two to three years of block coding on the Dash robots that we use here at school. So they do have a heads up on how to start at it. But the Lego program is much more advanced. There are so many more choices. There's six different motors rather than telling it to go left or right. Yeah. There's so many more choices. Their enthusiasm about these robots is off the charts. And they're having a really great time being a part of it. Is this class very creative? Yes. Yes. Everyone here can say that about this. It's very creative? Yes. And we take this very, very seriously. You take it very seriously? That's how people goof off. Well, you got to have fun with it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All of this has so much meaning for these students in the long term. But for now, it's a program that West hopes to build off of even more moving forward. You know, plant those seeds early on and just hope to see that them continue to cultivate and grow as they go into middle school and also in high school as well. And hopefully maybe even post-secondary school as well. It looks like there's a lot of interest in this. They have a blast. <laughs> this is great. Um, organized chaos. <laughs> Grant programs, donors choose. Your parents really do want to help you out a lot. That's how we got our first set of our Dash robots. Um, they're like $150 a piece, but they're sturdy. Um, I have a classroom set of 15 now. And we've been using those for four years, and the kids absolutely love them. And it's a great way to get everybody introduced into uh, computer programming. These robots and the students behind them were too good not to share. So we hope you enjoyed that. But before we go, it's time for the STEM joke of the day. And here it goes. A teacher was explaining a gram, milligram, and kilogram. But then a student asks, what about Instagram? <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. I'm Bart Barker with Wilson County Schools.